the types of things that you think can help you to get a job. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the meds make it kind of hard to to get up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hey Adrian, so how did the group go? Good, I think it went really well. We had about six members. My name is Gord Hirano. I'm an occupational therapist and the clinical director here at the Hamilton Program for Schizophrenia. The Hamilton Program for Schizophrenia is based on a recovery-oriented approach. The service we provide is intensive case management, and that includes opportunities for individuals to come here to meet with case managers, some are occupational therapists, in order to gain support with their identified needs. Goals can be supported here uh, on site, or they can be supported at their home or at their workplace, whatever makes most sense for them. Just checking in to see how the group went today. It was really good, really good. I primarily supervise and oversee the clinical program here. Um, we have nine case managers, we have two psychiatrists, we have an OT assistant, as well as a group program. So my responsibility is really to oversee the running of those programs. As an occupational therapist, I also do uh, have opportunities to meet with individuals to do some case management support. Cynthia, remind me what your big goal is. Well. I want to get a job. Yeah. And how are you doing with that goal? I was thinking about the kinds of work I want to do. Like, I'm not very strong, so there's a lot of like manual work I can't do. Like, I can't really shovel sidewalks or anything. And just trying to find out where I want to, like, what would be a good place for me to work. As an occupational therapist, one of the things that we bring to the program is really that sense of meaningful activity and supporting individuals with improving their functional abilities. Individuals with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder can be challenged both cognitively and physically by the illness. So our occupational therapists will support them with specifically goals around independent living, managing to return to work, and really managing their activities of daily living. Mental health is a significant area of practice for us um, and typically occupational therapists work with individuals who are um, in the population that we would describe as the severe and persistent mental illnesses. This includes individuals with schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, bipolar disorder, severe depression. The occupational therapist would work either in an inpatient or a hospital-based role where they would support individuals who are more acutely ill or in the community where individuals are looking at more rehabilitative and recovery-based support and that's primarily where my role falls. I have a degree in kinesiology and then I went back to school and got a degree in psychology and then went into occupational therapy. Following that I pursued a master's degree in psychiatric rehabilitation. That movement or progression in my career has moved me to this position at, at this time. I think individuals can have a misconception about working with this population, individuals with schizophrenia, in that they may be violent or they may not be able to determine their own futures. Um, th those can be some misconceptions. Tell me a little bit about how things are going at home. I want to live on my own. Hmm? What kind of situation would you like to live in? This is a voluntary program, so each individual has the opportunity to decide how their treatment will look, how they want the case manager or occupational therapist to support them. Um, the individual will determine his or her own goals. Um, so pretty much throughout the, the support, individuals are in control of what they want and how they access their services. Primarily, we have three types of interventions or supports. One would be individuals all have access to a, their psychiatrist here. Um, so they'll get their medication and any recommendations regarding their illness from their psychiatrist. We also have a team of case managers. Each case manager would support approximately 20 individuals and they provide individual rehab recovery oriented support. So they'll meet with them individually to help them set goals and really to set uh, plans to achieve those goals. And lastly, we do have a number of groups that happened here, and those groups range from skill building groups through to social groups, through to groups focusing on helping individuals uh, connect with other individuals or, or, or really move uh, forward with their rehab and recovery.
There you are. So make sure, and then set those aside. So if you guys want to grab your small bag, and we're going to do the same thing. Make sure they're nice and open for me, and I'm going to add half and half cream. One of the opportunities we provide here in the program is a cooking group and it's facilitated by our occupational therapy assistant. That group provides the opportunity for the clients to gain some skill in meal management and pre preparation of meals so that they can transfer that to their individual lives. I think we might be done. Like I said, it's just going to be creamy. Client-centered practice is significant for us. Individuals who come here determine their own goals, whether it be goals related to work, their living situation, their social relationships, their families, their illness. Um, they determine really what they want to work on. Our case managers and, and occupational therapists will uh, help them to understand the best ways to achieve those goals in the context of their own lives. So what do you guys think of that ice cream? Maybe uh, you could do it some other time for a little snack. It's fun. You're making your own ice cream. Mm -hmm.